Hey Style Fam, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Today I wanted to share with you my spring closet essentials, and I'll be sticking to neutral tones as I find these are the easiest to mix and match when you're on the go. I am so happy to have partnered with Latelier on this video. I am actually so obsessed with their clothing line, they focus on elevated timeless luxe basics at an affordable price point. And you can use my code T30 for 30% off your entire purchase. Now let's explore the site together and put together a solid spring wardrobe. For the first essential, I'm choosing a linen blend menswear style blazer, which will also transition well into the summer. Blazers pair well with pretty much everything from dresses to skirts to trousers and jeans. Choose breathable fabrics for when you get into the warmer weather. Cropped blazers are a great option if you have shorter torsos and a petite height. Finishing off the outerwear essentials with a classic trench coat in beige, it's the perfect functional yet fashionable companion to complement pretty much every outfit in the spring. It's definitely a staple piece you would want to invest in. An everyday dress like a simple t-shirt dress is an easy piece to throw on when you're in a hurry. It's layerable and great for mixing and matching. Speaking of which, matching top and skirt sets like this one is going to give you so many great mixing and matching moments, and I prefer midi skirts as they can transition well into fall winter fashion. Athleisure or loungewear sets are personally my go-to for everyday errands, and neutral tones like this one are chic on its own but will team well with any outerwear piece. Honestly, I'm the type to wear knits all year round, and a neutral knit in the form of a sweater or cardigan in the spring is great for slightly warmer weather. They're also a cozy choice if you work from home and need to put something on for your daily Zoom call. I also think a knit vest is a fabulous layering option to go over tops and dresses. I find that vests will always stay timeless and classic even if they're presently a very hot trendy item. For bottoms, I'm going to choose straight jeans with a bit of stretch. Straight jeans are a favorite French classic that flatters most body types, plus the little bit of stretch adds comfort. The last bottom essential are trousers. They're a classy and feminine wardrobe staple, but make sure to choose one that is light and airy and right for your body type. Tapered trousers are also a great classic for every body type. Lastly, loafers are my pick for everyday footwear in the springtime. Although I chose a chunky version, flat plain black loafers will team well with many an outfit. All my Latelier pieces have arrived and it's time to give you my honest thoughts on the pieces. I cannot speak much on customer service and shipping as this is a partnership and I did not purchase as a customer, so I can only comment on the quality and fit of the pieces. I was pleasantly happy with the quality of Latelier. I do think it's comparable to other fashion sites like Zara and Mango, and the stitching is clean and quite beautiful, no loose strands or shoddy workmanship. Apparently the fabrics are organically sourced and I do think think the price point on some of these luxe fabrics are amazing and great if you're looking for budget-friendly basics. I love the unique cut of this oversized blazer, but I did find I needed to go for a medium as the small was too tight around my upper arms, but I do have larger upper arms so mediums are my go-to for blazers anyways. I found the sleeves to be on the longer side so they will need to be taken in, but I'm loving this faux layered vest, it just adds a really cool element to this modern essential. I'll be honest, the crop blazer is not really my vibe. I do prefer the previous blazer. I got a small in this and it fits me well and not too tight around the arms. I do like how the shoulder pads give structure. It's a clean style that I think would look better on a petite girl, but do comment below and let me know if I should keep it. Okay, this trench is bomb AF. It's oversized enough to layer chunky sweaters. This shade of light beige is exactly what I've been on the hunt for and I'm loving the details of the cuff straps and the deep back yoke. Modern yet timeless. This t-shirt dress is really comfortable. I love the cinched ruching on the side of the waist, which I think is really flattering, and the side slit gives an extra oomph of femininity. I did get this in navy blue, but I think it looks more black, especially in a certain light. This polka dot matching top and skirt set is fun, timeless, and chic. The satiny fabric feels soft and light against the skin, and I like the stretchiness of the elastic waistband on the skirt for added comfort. 
this neutral lounge set is so so comfortable and again the cleanliness of the stitching is fabulous no lie the attention to detail is really amazing on these latelier items the fabric feels soft against the skin and the length of the bottoms are perfect for my height i'm five four inches by the way and i'm just living for this deep shade of beige fabulous I like the drop shoulder of the sweater and the spread collar with a v-neck is playful option to crewnecks. Another soft and comfortable piece added to my essentials collection. Not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the knit vest being 100% acrylic, but with that being said, it is on the budget-friendly side and it does feel like it's well-made acrylic as it doesn't feel too rough against the skin. It is quite oversized, so I would say stick to your usual size. I do love the overall look of this cable knit vest though, it's really pretty. These straight jeans actually flare out a bit at the bottom. I appreciate the stretch in them though, they're super comfortable even on those bloated days, and the length is perfect for my height. Loving these brown trousers. On the website, it does say dark grays, but don't be fooled, they're more tan in color. And I love the stretch waist at the back, and this one fits true to size. The pant legs are a little long, so they will need to be taken in. I would say these trousers will be fabulous in the fall time as well. I'm going to start off by saying these chunky loafers with the gold chain are really well made and comfortable to walk in, but I personally don't think the chunkiness looks good on me. I wanted to love them so badly, but they won't work well with many of my outfits. Maybe I'm wrong? You can be the judge as we are now on to my favorite part of the video, styling outfits. I'm going to give you variations on all the Latelier items I've shared today. I have also added in some other basics like sneakers and flat boots to give you additional ideas on how to change up the vibe of an outfit. And I've used a classic plain black shoulder bag as the final accessory. Let's get started in three, two, Don't forget to use my code T30 for 30% off on the L'Atelier website. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and interact as it helps my channel grow. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you on the next!